Matt Aguilar here from comicbook.com, and welcome to Comic Book Tabletop. For our first edition, we're going to pick Marvel Champions from Fantasy Flight Games and Asmo Day. And it is a card game, kind of aptly by the title, and it's going to be a cooperative experience for two to four players. It has you taking down Marvel villains like Rhino, Ultron, and Claw from the core set, and then Green Goblin later on. So you're going to be picking your own heroes, which you can pick from people like Captain Marvel, Captain America, Miss Marvel, She-Hulk, and others. And you're going to pick your hero, and you're going to start off in this Thing. And one of the things that Marvel Champions does that other games do not is focus on alter egos. So you're going to start out in Carol Danvers' form, and this allows you to do certain things that your hero character cannot. But if you want to go ahead and become a hero and start attacking things, you're going to switch to this. And of course, you'll see those icons of thwart, attack, and defense. Thwart is essentially how you keep the game from ending, because villains like Rhino here, let's put that for example. And hey, I didn't cover the number this time. Uh, so this, you can see, has a seven per person. So that's gonna be 14 if you're playing with two people. That is the number of threat that this card needs to win the game. So Rhino wins if it hits 14, and you can win if you defeat him before that happens. And the way you do that is you thwart and you remove threat from his card. You can also attack him if you want to just go aggressive and punch him till he's gone, and you can do that as well. So you have multiple options. You will get allies in the game that will help you do that. You can also buy locations in the game. You'll do that with a variety of resources. Now, uh, for this, let's go ahead and see what this is. So for this card, You'll notice in the lower corner, there is a yellow symbol. That is an energy symbol. All of the cards have resource symbols, which go mental, uh, physical, and wild. Those are how you purchase things. And you'll notice in the corner here, there is a two. That is how much this card costs. Every card in the game has that on it. So you will spend this to get this. Ah, there we go. The best way to really understand it, though, and for it to sink all in is to play it. And that's what we're going to do next. So my buddy Chris is joining me. What's up? I don't know how to play. I thought this was a video game. That's this bodes well for the rest of the That's why part. I came here. But it's not. <laughs> this is a lovely mat with lots of cards. Right? We start in secret identity in your alter ego mode. Okay. okay. You're going to draw up. You'll see a little symbol at the bottom. It has a number. It says hand size. Uh -huh. You're going to draw cards from here. Okay. And that many cards. So I'll draw six cards if the hand size is six. Yes. Okay. Four. Can I look at the cards? Six. Absolutely. Okay. So this is going to be your starting hand. So throughout the game, you're going to be rotating through these, using these, purchasing some, discarding others, and you're going to kind of work your way through here to get the better and better cards. Okay. So you might have a really... So the, the, up, like the numbers in the corner, does that specify how good the card is? No. So what that specifies, and if you want to show one, that'd be perfect. Okay. Uh, just pick one with like a number, not zero on it. Here's a number one. You're going to see a number in the top left-hand corner. That is how much it costs. Oh, okay. And the way you do that is you'll see a little symbol at the very bottom left-hand corner corner mm -hmm. and that symbol is one of four different types okay okay so it's like physical energy uh, mental and then a wild uh, your it doesn't matter which one you use unless the card says it but like if you're trying to play that okay. that costs two right okay so I need to get rid of two things okay. doesn't matter which one I have the first player marker which rotates every round so we're gonna start here so I have and I'm just gonna show my hand that way it's just easier for the camera and everything so you can actually see. So it's kind of important to try and get, if you see upgrades like this one is perfect. Now this one, the best thing about it is it actually doesn't cost anything. So it's a zero. So I can just play that out here. And what this card does is it lets me essentially put resources. I can just discard them here. It builds up. It's like a giant power blast. Okay. I can essentially put however many on there. It might take me a few turns but then I'll have this giant blast at some point. But it costs zero, so I can go ahead and play. Now if I wanna play, now this is an interrupt, so you'll see here, it's a zero. That is actually, if the villain attacks me, I can just play that and it helps me defend or not get hit. So almost like a, like a get out of jail free card? Exactly, it's like wow. a counter. Look so, at that. Uh, so next, if I want to, this one right here is two, so that means I need to get rid of two. So I will discard those right here. So you'll discard those in your discard pile, and you'll keep pulling when the round is over from here. Okay. Eventually, they'll all cycle back in. Gotcha. So then that is really all I can do as far as card-wise. So now uh, I am in this mode. You can flip once per turn. Okay. So I can go ahead and flip to my Captain Marvel side. You'll see here, and we'll go ahead and put that up too. Actually, if you want to put Spider-Man's up, you can. So uh, you'll see symbols, three symbols. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you'll see a thwart, which is the blue, you'll see attack, which is red, and you'll see defense, which is green. Mm -hmm. So thwart is what keeps him from building up scheme. Okay. So threat builds up and you'll do that. Attack hits him and will bring him down, which he has 28 uh, hit points. And then defense is, of course, if he attacks you, you can get rid of those. So uh, go ahead and flip yours back over because you'll flip it back over on your turn. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, and since he doesn't have any scheme, I'm going to go ahead and just hit him. So I exhaust her, which means she's done as far as attacking. I will hit him for two. Yeah. So he loses two, and then that is it for me. So now it's your turn. Okay, so I think I'm going to actually lay this down. Oh, nice. Okay. So for that, it says hero action. So you're going to want to flip your Peter Parker over there to okay. Spidey. So anything with a hero action is going to demand that you be in hero mode, which is fine. So you just flip, okay, and then go ahead and play that. So how are you going to pay for that? So you have this card too. Let's see. I'm going to do interrogation room. Okay. I think you should stick it right under there. And oh. then I'm going to do Avengers Mansion here. Booyah. All right. So you don't actually have to exhaust him yet. Oh, okay. Uh, you can just flip him over. So now how, you've played what, that. So how did you exhaust yours and I didn't exhaust mine? You actually bought a card that can do something. So this is an event. So you buy this and then you get to do this. This is separate. Okay. So I didn't have that extra card, so I had to just do a basic attack. I didn't get anything special. Okay. So I exhausted mine. So how many times are we hitting uh, old Rhino so You get here? to hit him for three damage, and then that goes into your discard pile. So one, two, three. So he is already down to 23, not bad. Now you can hit him again, if you want, with your just regular attack. And that, why and not? You exhaust him. Yeah, if we're just playing one round here, yeah, let's hit him again. All right. Let's do it. So then now you'll exhaust him. And what does he hit for? Two? Two. All right, two. And now he's down to 21. Boom. So any other cards you want to buy? I'm not going to play another Okay, one. perfect. Hold on. So then you're good. So now we go ahead and pull up to, we essentially reload. So okay. you're going to pull your cards however many your, your hand size is. So two more? Now sometimes it changes when you're in hero mode. So like I have five instead of six. Yours is also five. Because okay. once you're in hero mode, sometimes it changes. Gotcha. And Iron Man's really sucks because it's like one when he's a hero. But if the more armor you get, the more cards you get to draw. So it's kind of cool. So yeah, you would just draw up to five. All right. You can also discard any cards that you don't want and draw a new card in its place. So if like you didn't like one of your old cards, you can get rid of it, put it in your discard, and then pull another one. Oh, yeah. get rid of it. All right. So now we're actually going to, everything is readied as well. So you would ready Spidey. Okay. And you would go ahead and turn him. And then now it's the villain's turn. Is he still in hero mode? Yeah, he's still in hero mode. Everything is there. Oh, and then your first player next round. So you get that fancy thing. Okay. All right, so now it's the villain's turn. So the villain is going to dictate, they're going to base their actions off of what side you're on. So if you are a hero, they're going to attack you. If you're on the other side, they're going to advance their scheme. Every villain, and I'll go ahead and pull this up for the camera there. Uh, every villain has a scheme, and it has a little symbol, and it shows you like how much that accelerates, what it starts with, and that kind of thing. So. For this one, he doesn't actually get any starting threat, which is awesome. But he's going to get two to start here because of one per player. And okay. it has a little symbol on there with a little plus one. Yeah. So that is threat. If he gets 14 of that, he wins. Mm. But he's going to attack you. He's going to attack each of us, actually. So great thing about his attack, he gets one card. And if you see, and if you don't mind holding that one up to the camera because you're a little closer. Oh, no. So the good news is for this, you it's don't... It's a stampede. You don't actually read the text. You only look in the corner, the bottom right corner, and you see if there's a little red star. Oh. So is there a little red star? Uh, is that a star? Yeah, it's a little red symbol. Yeah. So that symbol, he gets a plus one to his attack. Oh, so instead no. of two on his, he's going to hit you for three. Now, you have an option. You've got three defense uh -huh. on Spidey. But if you exhaust him, he's done for the round, like the entire round, which means like next time it's your turn, you can't attack with him or do anything else with him, just him. You can still put cards and all the other stuff, but you can't use him. So the question is, do you want to take three damage, just absorb it, or do you want to defend it? You know, if we were playing the full game, I yeah. might hold off, but since we're not, let's just, let's just do it. Let's defend. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to go ahead and exhaust him, and you won't take any of that damage. Because 
Rhino has nothing on you. I'm gonna draw this, it has a boost as well. Uh, you know what, you make a very good point. Now, I don't have as much defense as you, which sucks, and I don't understand how Captain Marvel does not have as much defense as Spider-Man. Well, okay, okay, Spidey Sense. Okay, fine, fine, I'll, I'll let it slide. All right, also, so I'm gonna get rid of Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of one. Doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, still gonna take two <laughs> damage. Uh, so I did not get off as easily. Now, he attacks us. Okay. There's no other minions or anything on the board right now. Sometimes you'll draw a minion that would, like, let's say you drew it yeah. on your turn, he would attach to you and you guys would fight. Yeah. We don't have that. So now we just go ahead and draw a card yeah. per person. So now you read the text. Okay. So what does that have? It's a Hydro Bomber, and it ch you choose to either take two damage or place one threat on the main scheme. So he goes attached to you now, Okay. and then you also resolve that. So, do you want to take two damage, or do you want to put one on here? Uh, Which would advance the scheme, but it still needs 14. We've only got two. Okay. It's up to you. Yeah, why not? Let's just throw one another one okay. on there. So. And now he's attached to you. So now the next time the villains go, only he attacks and then also he attacks you. Oh. So you see how it like starts to kind of build. Yeah, You'll end yeah, up having yeah. a lot of enemies on the board. I, uh, I don't know. So far he seems like Paul Giamatti right now. Well, so now he got an upgrade. Yay me. So I pulled an upgrade and you attach it to Rhino, which means that he now gets plus one to attack for going forward. Now you can get rid of it by spending a certain number of resources, which those are mental. So we could like get rid of it at some point if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. But if we don't, then he just gets plus one now for the rest of the time. That's his turn. Uh, he hasn't, that's as far as he's gotten the scheme. This is his now. And then we would move to the next round. So now you, with you, when we, if we were to theoretically go into the next round, you wouldn't have him to thwart or punch or anything like that. So how do I get him back? Was you it, have to wait till your the, turn ends and when we round. reset, and gotcha. then you reset. So that's kind of the challenge of do I wait? Now what's great is, and we didn't pull any here, uh, but allies will come into play. So I've got an ally. Oh, do you? Okay, so I Mockingbird. Do. Mockingbird. So if you were to have her, if you were Not to purchase really a good her, ally. Uh, if you were to purchase her, she has her own thwart and attack rating. Mm -hmm. You can have, so let's say you were still, you bought her, uh -huh. you had her here, he couldn't, physically attack, you can attack with her. Now she also- Oh wait, I got a black cat, better ally. See? Oh, oh. Now black cat has her own, and each one of these also has their own ability. Mm -hmm. So you'll actually get the ability plus their own thing, and sometimes they can defend for you as well. You can sacrifice them, <laughs> so to speak, uh, to save you. So you can do a lot of things. So uh, that's kind of just a really quick, actually we encountered a lot of just normal stuff, and, and like you said, uh, it starts to build, and you'll see a lot more enemies come into play, effects and things like that. And so this will also run up while you're trying to defeat him. So you see like chaos quickly builds, mm -hmm. even though it starts out relatively clean and simple. Yeah, I could see where this would stress me out. Yeah. yeah, so that's Marvel Champions in a nutshell. So make sure to check out more coverage for the game on comicbook.com.